This is Excel 2016, Module 10, Part 4. We are continuing on with our different what-if analysis tools. This one is called Scenario Manager. And in this segment, we will be creating, editing, and viewing the scenarios with the Scenario Manager. Now what the Scenario Manager allows us to do is it allows us to change multiple variables. So with our two variable data table, when we did that, you will recall we were changing both the unit price and the number of units sold. When we're working on our scenario manager, we're going to be changing those two variables, but we will also be changing our fixed expenses. So the first thing we're going to be doing is doing some name, uh, naming of ranges. So we're going to start out and use A6 through B7. I'm going to go to the data tab and, excuse me, the formula tab, and I'm going to use create from a selection. It is in the left column where my names are and that will name those two cells. Next, I'm going to do two non-adjacent ranges, so we're going to be doing the same thing. This time I'm going to choose A19 through B22. Hold my control key down and choose A26 through B28. Again, go up to Create from Selection. The names are in the left column. We'll click OK. Then let's go back up to the top and we'll go back to A1. All right, so now we're ready to start working with our analysis. This is on the data tab. And we're going to go over here to our What If Analysis button. We're going to choose the Scenario Manager. Now this time we're going to add a new scenario. So with the first scenario, it is slightly different. We're going to start out by naming it. We're going to call this the status quo, the way things are today. And then we're going to specify our changing cells where we're going to be cha and changing the data and seeing what the results are. So at this point, we don't name our result cells, we only name our changing. We will be changing two non-adjacent non ranges. So first, we will be changing B6 and B7. That's the first range. And then the second range, you're going to access by holding the control key down and choosing B19 through 22. Once we've established those two, we're going to go ahead and click OK. And the numbers that are in those fields will all default in. And we can click OK. So you notice it takes us back and it shows us that it added a status quo. Now each time we add a new scenario, we want to make sure that we do not change what we've entered in the changing cells. So we're going to click Add to add a new one. This time we are adding Expanded operations. Leave the changing cells the same. We're going to come down to our comment box. We're going to enter twice and then we're going to type scenario assuming expanded operations. Remember we do not 
change our changing cells. So then we're going to click OK. And now we're going to type in some new answers for each of these. And notice, because we put range names in, it shows us the name instead of the cell reference. So we'll have 14, whoops, 14,200. 335 will stay the same. 950. 125,000, 105,000, and 85,000. Now, if you have more to add, then you can go in and click the Add button. It will then continue and open up the screen to add the next scenario. So we're going to click Add, and notice it brings us right back to bring a new one. So we're going to say Reduced Operations. Again, we do not change the changing cells. And then we're going to come down here and say scenario. Whoops, that's really off on the typing. Try again. Scenario. Assuming reduced operations. And we're going to click OK. Then we'll put in a new set of numbers here. So we have 10,000, 335, 650,000, 75,000, 70,000, and 50,000. We'll push Add again. And this time we will add spring sale. Again, do not change the changing cells. And then we're going to add scenario assuming a sale. So now we're going to assume 16,000, but because of the sale, our average price went down to 310. 775,000, 100,000, 85,000, and 65,000. And since that's my last scenario, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now, if I wanted to make a change to one of them, I realized I forgot to type in my comment on the status quo. So I'm going to click on that one, and I'm going to choose Edit. Okay, now I can say Scenario... Assuming no change in values. And click OK. So you'll notice I can go in, I can edit these. I can delete them if I realize I have done it in error. And the last thing I can do on this screen is I can show the results. So if I wanted to see the results of expanded operations, I would click that scenario and click the show. It automatically recalculates 
if you close the scenario manager you can see it recalculated the answers based on the options that I put in. So if I wanted to see some of the other ones I could go into scenario manager again by using the what if analysis button and maybe I want to see what uh, reduced operations would do so I can click on that and click show. Now when I look down here you can see the effect on income. Now let's say there's another change I want to make. So I'm going to go back into what if analysis and scenario manager and I am going to open up excuse me, the spring sales and choose to edit it. So when I click OK, I can come in and I can change the unit sold. So I'm going to change it to 15,000 and click OK and then show. And now you can see what impact that change had on my bottom line. In the next scenario, or in the next segment, excuse me, we're going to look at how to create the scenario summary and the scenario pivot table reports.